please welcome the planetary protection engineer for NASA, Dr. Muchike Cooper. Hey. Hey. Tell me, what is it like to be a real life guardian of the galaxy? What do you do? Yeah, so uh, the real life guardian of the galaxy really is someone that looks at two different things. The first thing is when we send spacecraft out into outer space, like to Mars, we have to make sure that it's clean from our Earth germs. Mm -hmm. And when we bring samples back from somewhere out there, we have to make sure we're protected from any life that might exist in that sample. Mm. So you like housekeeping in yeah, outer space. A, a glorified janitor. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. A cosmic custodian. Uh, yes, there we go. A cosmic custodian. <laughs> I like that. I like that. So what inspired you to get into planetary protection? Yeah, the whole trajectory change in my life actually started when I was a kid and I rented the first VHS of Carl Sagan's The Cosmos. Carl, that's oh, what, really? I, I watched Carl Sagan. I used to imitate him. Billions and billions of stars <laughs> in the sky. We'll never know about the mysteries of the universe. Yeah. Bam! <laughs> that was spot on. Yeah. I just close my eyes and see it. Have you ever been to outer space? No, I have never been, but I would love to go one day. I plan to apply to the astronaut program. Wow, so, okay, so, is there a lot of women of color that work at NASA or in any outer space programs? Yeah, there, there's definitely more work to be done. Interestingly enough, when I looked, I worked on the Mars 2020 mission and I looked around the room and the main people sitting at the table were women. Of course. Which, were, were I they, mean, we know how to color? get things done. Were they of color? There were some women of color, but No, we, they were not. No, okay. but... <laughs> well, <laughs> there were some. <laughs> there were some. No, there were some. About. Yeah. No, but it's kind of like the movie Hidden Figures, right? Right, yes. Where there's society and where we are that day, and yes. I feel like NASA's 20 steps ahead, where yes. that's the utopia of, if anything's gonna change, it's gonna be there. Mm. So I got another question. Is Pluto still a planet? Pluto is, has been demoted. Because it, it was a planet at first, Yes. and then it, it came back to be a planet again, and no. then it got kicked out again? Yeah, it's, it's now a dwarf planet. So ah. it's, so it's not still quite... a planet, it's just a smaller one. Yes. Kind now, of. what determines something <laughs> is a planet or if something is a star? Mm. Oh, Go yeah. Because that's all you got right there, right? Yeah. Like planet, stars, and then like rocks, Yeah, right? It, it's the composition, right? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you're getting at. What is it made out of? Mm -hmm. And then that helps you determine what category it fits in. Mm -hmm. And there are some gassy planets, too, that, that like people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. No, I used to date one. <laughs> a gassy man? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Yeah.